Hi, I'm Nicole, a fitness expert for SparkPeople.com. This is day four of our seven-day boot camp workout plan. Today we're going to work the core in kind of a non-traditional way, mostly with standing exercises. So no crunches at all involved in this one. You'll need a mat for our stretches and an exercise later on, and also some dumbbells, but those are optional. So we're going to start standing. And in all of these exercises, I want you focusing on these core muscles all the way around the waist, especially pulling those abs in and keeping your back nice and lengthy. Thinned. So we're going to start with our fingertips just at the ears or slightly behind the head. Focus on that core and we're going to march with high knees, bringing your knee towards your chest and releasing alternating sides. All right, so you can just move at your own pace, but I feel like going a little slower here, this isn't like an aerobic march, helps you to focus here on the core because it's helping you to balance as you're on that one leg and lift that knee up, okay? So really focus there, abs pulled in tight. Feel them contract each time you lift. Last side. Now we're going to take it with a little twist. As I lift the left leg, I'm going to twist the elbow towards the knee from the opposite side and switch sides. So we're still slowly lifting, pulling those abs in. A Little bit of a rotation there with the torso as you bring your elbow towards your knee. And we're exhaling every time we lift that knee up, inhaling as we release down. Think about keeping that back along and those abs pulled in the whole time. Focus on the abdominals here. Good. One more to each side and release. Now we're going to take a little bit of a torso twist. I want you to take your feet a little wider than the hips. I'm going to keep my arms up here. Nice long back and then twisting side to side. So side and center, side and center. Exhale, twist. Inhale to the center. Good. I want you to think about this movement coming from the waist here. And if you need to, place your hands towards your hips so that you notice it. So it's not just swinging those arms side to side. The movement is coming from the core. Good. A couple more times there. And our last set. And back to center. Now I'm going to balance here on the left leg. Take my right foot out to the side, hold on to the hip, and then reach the right arm overhead. From here, we're really going to focus on the oblique, bringing the knee towards the elbow and releasing. Exhale, pull the knee towards the elbow and release. I, I like to wrap that opposite arm around the waist on this one, so you can really feel those muscles right there at the side of the waist contract each time you lift and pull down, just like you would on a little bit of a side crunch on the floor. One more time on this side and release. We're ready to switch sides then. Balance on the opposite leg. Take that arm overhead. Exhale, pull down. Inhale, release. Again, you could hold on to the waist here. That's what I like to do. It helps keep you focused. Exhale to pull and inhale down. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Belly button pulled in towards the spine. Find a focal point for your balance. And last one, go ahead and release. All right, now I'm going to grab my weights. This is the only exercise that we'll use the weights for. I'm going to take my feet hip width apart, and now we're going to do side bends to each side. Keeping tall, abs in, movement coming from the waist. We'll exhale and lower to one side, inhale, pull up, and then switch. So it's exhale down, inhale to the center, switch sides, exhale, inhale up. So again, focusing on the waist side to side. Our abs are still pulled in. That back is nice and tall. I don't want you to think about bending really far and touching your weight towards the floor. I just want you to go as far as you can, focusing on the muscles at the side of the waist. Good. Keep breathing there. Shoulders down and back. Good. And one more to each side. Last one. Steady breath and bring it back up. All right. I'm going to set these weights down to the side. Come down to one edge of your mat, and from here we'll slowly roll ourselves down one vertebra at a time, reaching towards the floor, bend the knees if you need to, and we'll walk out to a plank position and hold. So I've got my hands under the shoulders, fingertips pointed in front of me, and the body in a nice straight line from the shoulders all the way down to the heels. Your modification here is to go down to the knees if you need to to make this easier. So the biggest mistakes people make on this are lifting the hips too high or drooping them down towards the floor. So try to keep it in line. We're going to hold for a few more deep breaths. If you want an added challenge, I'm going to rock forward or back on the toes, reaching the chin out in front and then bringing it back. So you're just on the ball of the foot, tilting forward and back, making sure you're breathing steady, whether you're just holding on your toes, on your knees, 
or rocking. Three more of those rocks, and then we're done with this plank. Keep pulling those abs in tight, straight back. Last one here, and release. Drop those knees down, and from here we'll slowly bring ourselves all the way down onto the mat to work out that lower back really quick before we stretch out. So we're gonna reach our fingertips towards the toes, pull the shoulders down away from the ears, relax the head and neck. Exhale to lift that chest away from the floor. Inhale, release down. This is a tiny little movement and you should feel the muscles across that lower back engage every time you lift that chest away from the floor. And as you're lifting, think about reaching your fingertips towards your feet behind you. <sighs> Let's try two more. On this last one, just lift up and hold as high as you can go. Shoulders away from the ears. Here's three, two, one, and release. Now we're ready to stretch out. I want you to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push yourself up to hands and knees, and then we'll come back to child's pose where we just relax over the heels of the feet, reach those fingertips out in front, bring the head and neck down so it's relaxed, and let's slow that breath down, deep inhales and exhales. From here, I want you to walk your left hand towards your right hand, and this will give you a really deeper stretch through the left side of the waist, and release it back out, right hand towards the left, Keep breathing steady and reach it back out in front. From here, I'm going to come to hands and knees and then draw my hips towards the floor, lengthening the legs and the arms, pulling those shoulders down. This is a great stretch for the abdominals. Just sort of let go there. We've pulled the abs in really tight for this workout. I want you to let go of that contraction now. And back up to hands and knees for a couple more quick stretches. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees hip width apart. As we inhale, we're going to round our back like a cat. And then exhale to arch the back, dropping the belly down. A couple more times, round the back. And exhale, arch the back. One more time of each of those. Slow, deep breath. And switch. Good, go ahead and come back to your neutral position and push yourself up. All right, you've just finished day four of your boot camp workout plan. For more fitness ideas, visit sparkpeople.com.